Oh, I mean, uh, uh, here we are. It's another Saturday at New York Stadium, and today we welcome Stoke City. So the Potters are in town, and we've just had the team sheet. As for the Millers today, well, um, I mean, the big story is no Kioso in the uh, in the lineup or on the bench. I mean, it, I. I don't know why that is. Um, it worries me somewhat because I was hoping that we were going to get uh, PK at least on the bench today. He's come back. He should be match fit, and his head should be in a, in, in the right place to, to play um, if called upon. We've uh, got a starting lineup, which is much as you'd expect. Pelts is back, which is good. Um, Pelts will be back on the sides. Um, solid midfield. Uh, Ollie is back in there, so you know it's it's solid. Uh, the only other real surprise, I guess, what you'd get today from, from the starting lineup is the fact that Tom Eves is on the bench and uh, Hugo starts up front with Nombe, which, you know, honestly, I, that's okay, I'm alright with that, but, but, if you're Tom Eves, that's got to be a little bit of a slap. I mean, you know, he's, I think he's done enough to deserve another start, but, alright, you know, Hugo, not a bad replacement, although, I can't have said it before, Tom Eves is a lot quicker in his movement than Jordan, 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 Jordan Hugel. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it's not a bad starting lineup, and um, it, they've got to come out and they've got to give it right from the start because they, no matter what anyone says, listen, every game is must win from this point on. We, we will go down if we scrape points here and there. We will. Uh, it's home, so it has to be, you know, the advantage taken uh, of being at home and you have to look at Stoke and their position in the league right now and the fact that they're only drawing at the moment and you have to think this is a game we can win and then we have to go out and actually do that because we can't just rely on other teams losing all their games because even if we're not winning any points we're still going to end up going down so of the Millers and 3-1 um, he says unconvincingly <laughs> Sam Lucas plays her out um, is it a must-win game? As I've said, yes. There's the Stoke City players. But these boys here, they've got to do a job today. They've got to come out right from the get-go and they've got to give it everything because these are the games that you absolutely need the three points from. One point isn't a disaster, but it's not far off it. So we just did 15 minutes. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been interesting football so far in this first 15. But it's not been very exciting. We'll start with Stoke. They've been very good on the break. And uh, we need to just be... We've managed it okay so far. Uh, we just need to be a little bit careful. Seb Revens at the back's just been a little bit loose once or twice in his, uh, his kicks back to um, Victor. But we've, the defence has managed it. Uh, Sean Morrison's having a, a, a good start to the game so far. Midfield, neither team's really managed to get a, a, a grip, really, at the moment. And um, going forward, do you know, Rotherham have had the chances. We've, we've had it in the final third a couple of times. And um, we've not looked like, we, I mean, we've not looked like we're going to score. But then neither have they. Neither have they. Um, but prom promising. Promising, if not lighting up the lights with excitement and joy. Well, in the second minute of the two added on at the end, Stoke City have just been given a free kick right outside the uh, box. Yeah. I mean, we're well over, in, well over the additional time now. I'll just stick with this before the hard time roundup. Come on, referee. Sort them out, Mr. Stroud. Let's get this done, blast it over, and I'll go off for a cup of tea. Oh, I mean... Uh, 
and that's the half time. Right, well I've just done, just done my wins with the fans five minutes as our time started. And uh, I don't know, we're 1-0 we're down. It was the last kick of the game. It was a beautiful free kick, to be fair. Um, and, and you knew it was coming. Because I, I say this right now, throughout the first 45, there's no question that um, Stoke City have posed the greater threats up front. Um, we haven't done that. But let's start with the, the negatives. Colin Bramwell is not having a good game. Um, I don't know where his head is. I think he might still be a, maybe a bit worried about the little knock he got in midweek. And he hasn't quite got full mobility, perhaps. I don't know, but he's just very, very negative in his play at the moment. He's got space. He gets the ball. He can run. But he's not doing it. We've got to make chances in order to be able to score them. I know, right? It's pretty obvious when you think about it. We've not been able to do anything on the other side. Uh, you know, Peltz has not been bombing forward down the, the other wing. We've just not looked like there's been any kind of threat up front. We're just oofing it forward towards Nombe and Hugel, expecting them to get to the ball, get hold of it, hold it, and then make something happen with it. Neither of those two players, with the greatest respect to the pair of them, is, is able to do that. They're not, that's not the kind of players that they are. So we're basically just giving that ball straight back to Stoke every time we, we get hold of it at the back. Again, on the, uh, on the negative column, our midfield is just absolutely non-existent out there. They might as well not be on the pitch. Minus Sam Klukas, but we'll get to him in a second. Um, they've not been able to get the ball the ball hasn't come to them when it has come to them they've lost it very quickly they're not using it well there is um, lots of running around out there but no you know no end result at all um, positives there have been a couple of positives Sam Klukas I think is having the best of it out there in terms of Rotherham players um, at the back Sean Morrison's been solid that's, uh, and, and Sam Revens, Sam Revens, sorry, Seb Revens, just tightened up a little bit on, on his the looseness that was there in that first sort of five, ten minutes. So he's doing okay. They're all doing okay at the back. Although they've looked threatening when they've got forward Stoke, they've still not looked like particularly like scoring, and it's taken a set piece to do it at the end. Victor's been solid, as always, as you'd expect. And to be fair, he had no chance with the uh, the free kick. The free kick was just terrific. Went right into the far corner, curling away from him as he died for it. So no no blame on the keeper there. I, I don't think. Um, I don't I don't know what he's going to say to him. Our time, honestly. I would say. Well, looking on the bright side, it can't get any worse in the second half. But. I've been a Millers fan long enough to know that's not the case. So we'll, we'll see how we get on in this second half. Up the Millers. Players are out ready for the second half. Can't see there's been any uh, changes at our time. Let's see what happens. Come on now, Millers. Lift this crowd. 60 minutes. It's an hour gone. 15 minutes of the second half. I've got to say, just, just two bad teams here with one slightly better we've um, all right well, let's let's be let's be fair millers have been slightly better so far the second half they have made uh, a couple of decent bits of it going forward uh, but nothing to show sadly just at the minute although although no nope. and everything that's happening at the minute is this fella Goal gets us a corner. Sam Lucas nailed on man of the match so far with half an hour left. And Jamie Lins uh, is coming on for Sam Lucas. That's a shame that, because Sam Lucas, well, 18 minutes left, so he's still man of the match for me. No one's going to do anything in the next 18 minutes that's going to be uh, better than anything that Sam Lucas has done today. Oh, 77 minutes, Keith South's given his first card of the game for uh, pulling against the Miller. Six minutes of normal time left and, and they, this Rotherham team just looked defeated. They just look beaten out there. Um, 
I don't know what you do if you're the if you're the, the gaffer at this. To be fair, you know this is the first time under Liam Richardson that they've played like this. Um, even in the defeat to Fulham, that they, they, they weren't this. Hey. Well done, Victor. Oh no no no! Yeah, I don't know how would you pick them up. I remember talking like this under Matt Taylor. <laughs> I don't. Let's let's not over egg it. It's one game. It's one game. They've been playing much better under Liam Richardson, so hopefully that will soon be remedied. This for me, this has come out of nowhere. I don't know what's happened here. If just on the off chance if it's true what they say <laughs> Tommy's getting booked I don't know why either Tom. if it's true what they say about Kiyoso refusing to play just before kickoff, which I still don't believe by the way but on the off chance that is true that could have had an effect on this team perhaps because I'm at a loss to explain it otherwise same players same manager I don't know. Oh, is that not a corner? He's right, you're right. Oh, and Cafu's booked now as well. Great. Yeah, 77 minutes before the first yellow card, and it looks like Keith Sells has decided to flash it at every Miller out there now. Uh, that's it. It's finished 1 0. Uh, uh, one minute's finished. Don't really know what to say to that. I, I, I think I've said almost everything there in the actual game itself. The, um, I mean, that's just too. I think the fairest of Stoke fans will agree that theirs is not the best Stoke team at the moment, and we flattered them there because like, we, it's just two not very good teams playing not very well. And it was a, just an amazing free kick. And it was, to be fair, it was a, just a great free kick that at the end of the first half that's won it. Um, we've looked like not scoring in a month of games like that. We, I, nothing. We offered nothing going forward, really, over the 90. And um, quite frankly, Stoke haven't... Stoke did... Listen, I've I, got to be fair to the opposition. They were better than us all over the pitch. But that's not saying much because they didn't need to be much better than us anywhere on the pitch. Our defence has played okay tonight. Going forward, all four strikers got on the pitch and all four of them are being asked to do things that they're not good at. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't ascribe much blame to the strikers. Sam Klukas has been brilliant um, in that midfield until he's gone off. So no criticism of Sam Klukas today. But the rest of the midfield, including those players that came on. I'm sorry, they're, they're anonymous, absolutely anonymous. I don't know what the, the reason is for the change tonight, uh, today, in, in the way they've come out and played, compared to how they played under Liam Richardson in all the other games. But whatever it is, he's going to have to sort it out. Um, yep, yeah, it's a loss, you can't afford to lose it. I said that before the match, let's start walking. I said this before the game, we can't afford to be losing games like this and you certainly can't afford to not get a point out of this because uh, you know we're, we're, we're into the second half of the season now and drop points drop us a league so we've lost it we'll see it has been a terrible game i've not enjoyed that one bit but you know next time it'll be better of the millers millers women tomorrow that is they're gonna they're gonna top of the table clash me 